All right, I'm gonna demo number one here since it's a new pattern. So remember the goal here is to eventually get this to 120 or beyond. And if you can't do it from the first week, I want you to start thinking of ways to break this down into smaller, more manageable pieces so you can get it to this goal. So here it is at 60. One, two, three, four. eventually get the whole thing played at 170. No rush on it, take your time with it, learn going from one shape to the next, you know, kind of memorize what you're doing. That'll help with this. Certainly use Guitar Pro to your advantage. You know, play along with it. Uh, let's change some stuff here. Let's see, that almost scrolls all the way down. Yeah, I think that might work. Alright, so let's play this. Turn the volume up here. Uh, close something so we're not interrupted. Okay, let's give this a try. I gotta mute the guitar. Okay, try that again. I like that a bit louder too. Okay. Third time. Whoa! It stopped. It stopped making noise. What the heck happened? So when you're doing this, I want you to really make sure that that G string is palm muted. That, I don't think I mentioned this in uh, my response to the video you did, but the G string was definitely ringing out too much. So get that palm down or the side of your hand down. Get the, uh, get the G string muted the whole time. And you may want to focus on the ending here because of going up to that A note. So I went to that because I felt it resolves it. It sounds nicer that way versus just going to another note within that F chord. Well, it is in the F chord anyway. It sounds better than doing this to resolve it. Yeah. So um, I think that covers it all. So with the chord strumming, I'm going to just get through at least the key of a, uh, a harmonic minor. If you got time, try one of the others, uh, one of the other keys you've worked on so far. And if any questions come up, let me know. I'll see you next week.